Shadow of the Dead is a new author roguelike, and today we are trying out the Archer. Let's see how it goes. You're an Archer. You move around. You shoot. You summon things. All right. Well, you can charge your attacks. Oh, that's pretty good. I can summon a bear. Now, this already feels better than the first character. I could tell you that. And yeah, let's charge this one again. Boom. So good. And apparently you can right-click to beat up the enemies with your bow. So I guess if you run out of arrows... I don't think I ever actually did run out of arrows, though. So... Why is it there? I have no idea. Uh, looks like I hit the trap. Let's see how I deal with this. Summon the bear and just bash everybody with the bow. I don't know, you can reactivate the bear. The bear has the ability. I only noticed this now. It's a good ability too. Yeah, and I get a chest. Each second gives max health by 20%. Decent. And I think there's that. I cleared the entire area. So let's go down. I like that are these teleporters. Ooh, two chests in a row. And uh, do have an upgrade. Pick up. Uh, fire damage. My arrows do fire damage. An attack upgrade. Also fire. Do I want to increase my health? Do I want to... Gain additional 2 MP when Shadow Bolt Salt hits an enemy. Nah, I don't want to use my damage. Let's buy this and go up. That's a free bow. Don't actually need that. And that's a dead end. Okay, I found the exit. I think there is another path down. Ooh, a chest. Hey, you're downgrade. Like, I'm only really looking at damage. Ooh, a skill book. Shoot a skill book, yes. Suppose skill deal more damage. Uh, something lightning. Chance to deal while using furry strikes. Lots of furry strikes. Suppose skill deals more damage. Let's use this one. I am unfortunately not entirely sure what is Fury Strikes, so I guess I'm not going to take that. Oh, what's my support skill, by the way? I think it's this. Or this. Oh well, next floor it is. Some of the birds. Can I charge now? I can't. But I can actually autofire, which is also great. And apparently the birds also have an activation. Of sorts. Ooh, hello there. What do you do? Chance to gain three coins upon hitting an enemy. Actually, I like that. I think it's like, I think coins are going to be useful, you know, in the full game, whenever I get that. And what do I have? Lightning damage. I don't like that. For the meta progression. Uh, let's go this way first. Oh, hello there. And what's this? Attack. You're replacing this. It does more damage, right? But don't actually want it. Give me a skill book. Next shot deals 25% damage after reload. Well, can I have more than one passive, by the way? I think I can. Let's get more health and let's bail out of here and let's clear the rest of the, the rest of the level. So I did see that 100 percent add damage on the first attack. I wonder if I can have some sort of a glass cannon ability. Because I'm ranged, I'm not gonna be hit ever. Surely it's a good idea to have some sort of glass cannon. Like I do more damage, but I take more damage. Something of that sort. I wonder if that's a thing in the game. 
a worse bow. More luck though. And would you look at that? It seems I'm about to get trapped. Now let's see how this goes. I do have my ultimate charge. So perhaps uh, let it rip. Rip, ultimate, hello. Well, that actually does decent damage. Though I'm not entirely sure how long it's gonna take to recharge. So maybe I wasted it for nothing. Okay, let's see. More health it is. So I got a better damage bow. I got a much better damage bow. I need to earn money to get this one. I need 200... I think I have a chance to find this much. Okay, and I got a chest. Not a, not a, whole, not a whole lot of gold, but sure. Your next attack deals more damage after using the base skills. Chance to decrease damage enemy defense. Uh, let's remove defense. And getting a chest actually disables this trap. Not this one though. Okay, I have another trap. I almost have enough for the better bow. But somebody tells me I just need to hit the trap and get the bow out of that. Okay, well, let's see it anyway. Oh look, I'm so trapped. But uh, they're trapped here with me. Because I have lightning. And done. And I got a better bow. I think it's just straight up an upgrade. Now, I have enough money to get that bow. But at this stage, I'm not even entirely sure if uh, that bow is going to be better than my current one. Now, did I unlock everything? I think I did. So now the only thing for me is to actually teleport all the way back to the shop and test out that bow. Oh yeah, the game has teleport. Very convenient, very useful. Ow. So are you better than my current one? You're slightly better. Well, like, I think I have to get it. Just to make sure I have as much damage as possible. And I can actually afford a heart. Which is something I did not expect. Well, let's go for the next round. Okay, summon the birds. Send the birds in. Yeah, the damage is so much better. Immediately. Now, I think with the passive that I have, with uh, more damage after reload, I think I need to take a bow with as little arrows in it as possible so that I actually reload as more as more as possible. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I, I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but if I find a bow like that, I'm actually going to instantly take it. Even if it does less damage than my current one. Because with that passive, it's going to be doing much more overall. Oh, I found a better bow. Excuse me, plus 12 damage. I have to take that. So, and now I hit even harder. Unfortunately, the new bow does have less arrows. But it is what it is. I have a shop here. Upgrade oh, book. I'm a break of this. I think I want to maximize this passive. Now, can I teleport somewhere? So I cleaned up most of... Oh, I haven't actually cleaned up here. Okay, let's do exactly that. Wow, I do so much damage. Oh, would you look at that? There is a trap. Yeah, let's go with the ultimate. I can summon more now. Why can I summon more? And now I actually summon zombies. Is it the weapon passive? I think it is. I actually want to see it. A lifeblood summon. So I could have gone this passive normally, but I actually now have it on this. Summon two eagles. But this one this one says it can be summoned repeatedly. So can I have wow, how many can I have? So, in my test run before the recording, I got a, a glass cannon. You take double damage, but you deal double damage. And I was really looking forward to getting that again, you know, for the video and whatnot. But holy cow! I have infinite birds. And looks like there is yet another weapon. 
Hello there. You do less damage, but your and your quiver is worse. Eh. Let's remove that. I think I just have to summon birds constantly. Now, if I summon us a wicked, a lot of cooldown for the birds. If I get that, I'll be doing a lot more damage than I do currently. Oh, hello there. So, Sink Quiver, less damage. How much damage does my current one do? Yeah, we're not taking that. And would you look at that, yet another shot. I have so many birds that I don't think I even have to do anything. Okay, let's let the birds do the work. That was pretty powerful. So this is a quiver reduction, that will have a chance to deal damage when you're using Fury Strikes. What's the Fury Strikes? Oh, I think it's the right quick. Uh, arrows explode upon impact dealing 60% damage. Like, the quiver is less, but it's not that much less, so I don't want to lose damage on that. I think I have to go with the Fatal Reload. And another passive. When arrows are depleted, Shadow Bow Assault damage is multiplied by plus 30%. I, I don't like that ability anyway, so let's not take that. Ooh, I think it's a... Is it a boss fight? Ah, it's another trap. I mean, you have uh, six birds, so... Bring it on. Okay, well, let's go for the next area. Okay, I can enhance my bow. Let's take that. Oh, it's gonna do so much damage. Did I take it? I did. Okay, off we go. I have an entire zoo with me. So, the boss should be a pretty easy. Hello, boss. Some birds. Why am I E not working? So I think while you're attacking you can't actually press your E, but... Whatever, the boss is dead. What is this? That's nothing. And what do we get for it? Gimme, gimme, gimme. We get a worse bow. Okay. Deal damage to enemies with HP below 40%. That's pretty good. And that's the end. So the archer is pretty powerful. So if you ever get the double damage but the take double damage class cannon on this character, oh my! And if you have, if you if you get the birds, you know the infinite summoning birds, you'd be doing even more damage. Holy cow! A good character. Now if you watched this far, uh, why are you not subscribed? And if you're subscribed, thank you for watching this far, and uh, see you in the next video.